Just as they have done since the formation of the Earth's oceans, waves and tides continue to shape our coasts. The energy of rivers and tides can bring fine silts and clay particles to accumulate close to the shore. As the water shallows, salt-tolerant plants establish and thrive in this harsh environment. In this way, over the past centuries, salt marshes have formed all around the world on shallow ocean fringes and within estuaries, acting as natural buffer zones protecting our shores from storms, absorbing and burying carbon from the atmosphere, and offering habitats to unique plants and animals. But our coast is changing, our climate is warming, and sea level is rising faster than in the recent past. Storms are intensifying, and with this come stronger waves. We are a team of geographers and geologists, and we are concerned. We know that vast areas of these valuable coastal buffer zones are rapidly changing around the world. As sea levels rise and our sea walls do not allow the shore to move landwards, there is danger that marshes become squeezed between the sea and our coastal defences. Due to having to cross treacherous terrain to get to the seaward marsh fringes and because of the enormous forces that are generated during a storm, it is difficult to be in these places at the right time to see what storm waves do to marsh margins. So we decided to carefully excavate and transport marsh soil columns into the world's largest indoor wave flume, a corridor-shaped basin over 300 metres long, where we can simulate coastal storms and see exactly what type of waves are needed to cause marsh loss. By using the latest digital imaging technology before and after our indoor storm, we can measure precisely how and where soil is lost. X-ray CT scan technology allows us to see into the soil column. Roots and soil pores are clearly visible and may explain where and how waves were able to erode the soil. But no two salt marshes are alike. Some are more sandy, others more muddy, and no individual marsh is uniform. So we use drones to fly high above the marshes and map all of their features that might determine how well they can resist the next big storm. Over the next few years, we will continue to marry the latest technology with robust geographical science, allowing us to plan for a future in which we can continue to benefit from the flood protection, carbon storage and biodiversity provided by these unique coastal landforms.